Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are here at Target. And I just read earlier this morning that Target is slashing prices on another 2,000 products in their store. They say just in time for the holidays, they're going to be cutting some more prices. I believe that makes a total of 8,000 products that they have claimed they have cut in price within the last year. I know there was a lot of them at the beginning of summer, and we had actually come to Target and saw where they had cut a lot of prices on their groceries. And that is what we're going to check out today, about a month away from Thanksgiving, a few days away from Halloween right now. We're going to check out some of the different options that Target has, because over the last couple years, you know, with some shortages in some stores, we were still finding some of these items at Target. So let's get to it. Well, it looks like Target is pretty loaded down on Tylenol and Ibuprofen. Good to see. We got a comment the other day. Someone was in a store and saw some shortages of Tylenol. I noticed that at Meyer the other day. Still had some, but it was a lot lower than normal. Got to keep an eye on these things. Got a deal going on here. Advil, Excedrin, and Volturin. Fever and pain relief items. Buy one. Get one 30% off. This deal goes through October 26, 2024. I guess it's a good time to get your cough and cold relief items priced $3.99 and up at Target here. This is on the Circle deal, so you have to be, you have to have the Target Circle app. Enjoy now. You might be able to scan that QR code right there through the camera here. Buy two or more. Get a $5 gift card, though. It is cold season, so... All the different ones here they've got all the different target brands coming in that's that's good to see because i know sometimes target brand was well it's been about a year maybe a little more than a year but target brand was hard to find there for a little while but buy two or more get a five dollar gift card lots of deals on different tupperware containers here at target this week looks like this extends out until the 26th as well saturday october 26th also today is tuesday October 22nd, 2024, just for point of reference. Yeah, some nice containers here. Not a huge savings, but a little bit. Now they got these awesome Bertoli meals here. I love these things. They are $6.50 when you buy two. Do you have to buy two of them? That includes P.F. Chang's as well. Look at that. Okay. P.F. Chang's, these are normally $7.69 for these. $7.69 for Bertoli. Buy two, you can mix and match between these, $6.50 a piece. You have to buy two of them, and that extends until October 26th as well. We are always getting comments on these Amy Bowls, and people asking if I can point out when they're on sale, because yeah, they're expensive, $5.99. Regular price, that's pretty much the same regular price everywhere, but they have a buy one, get one 25% off this week. So I will be pointing out a lot of the sales. Not sure any of the 2,000 items that we saw this morning in the ad will have taken effect yet. Probably not. But we're going to check out the deals nonetheless. This is an okay deal. As you can see right here, the Good & Gather waffles have been pulled as they are part of a recall on the waffle recall and some of the Kodiak cakes that have been pulled as well. We've been covering that recall for the last few days. They do have Ego though. Ego is not part of that recall as of yet, thank goodness. I know a couple of viewers on our channel that love these veggies made great. Little muffins and things here. Got the different spinach egg white frittata. $5.49, a huge savings, but 50 cents off, 50 cents off these days. This is good until Saturday. Stouffer's family size meals here. This is one where you do have to buy two, but it's a pretty good deal. Eight dollars. Eight dollars for these family size select varieties here. They got the lasagna italiano, the meatloaf here, which is fantastic. Eight dollars down from ten forty nine. Even regular price isn't as bad as some places, but eight dollars you do have to buy two of them though, so it'll be sixteen dollars to get two of them. This goes until October twenty sixth as well. Good and gather deli meats here. We me and Jessica, as most of you know, like a lot of good and gather products. Deli meat has always been fine for us. $3.99 plus, you know, with Boar's Head on that massive recall and all that stuff, we're not buying Boar's Head. Um, but 
haven't heard anything about good and gather yet so and it is on sale 349 uh for select varieties here nine ounce packages 50 cents off and it's good quality this goes throughout uh saturday october 26 as well looks like thomas bagels have come down a little bit these have gone up to 419 which was still a good regular price compared to some other places 479 regular price at kroger um 399 regular price now you can tell they're selling them too usually it's pretty packed in different kinds of breads here going on sunbeam no let's see that is not correct yeah that's pepperidge farm i was gonna say 399 for sunbeam 259 for sunbeam here 329 for nature's own that's actually not too bad i've been seeing this for 399 in some places 269 for large butternut bread that is 329 the last time i checked at kroger that might have come down too we have been seeing some prices come down on some products at kroger but yeah i mean some pretty decent regular prices here on bread at target here looks like they have justin's different almond butter here uh is that included 20 percent off no almond butter 1.1 yeah okay 20 percent off you do have to have the circle deal to get this but this is also included here the justin's honey peanut butter here 20 percent off of that circle deal good through october 26 always a good option on their berries frozen berries here at target good and gather i mean some pretty decent deals here too 40 ounces of the fruit blend here 9.59 for that got the whole strawberries here this is 64 ounces for 9.29 triple berry blend this one's going to be a little more expensive but still cheaper 48 ounces for 12.69 i've seen the same size bags at some other places for like 14 15 dollars so not bad and anytime we've gotten frozen uh strawberries or whatever berries from the good and gather here at target it's always been pretty good and you can see they sell them. I mean, they really do. I know a lot of people that like the Good and Gather frozen berries here. Some of them missing here. But yeah, some pretty decent prices. They got the Passion Fruit Tropical Blend, $4.19. See uh, this one right here. It was $2.99. Got the different peaches there. Peaches, $2.99. Yeah, and I do believe these were $3.19. So it looks like these, these may have come down too. One of our longtime viewers had mentioned you haven't been able to find any like concentrate, orange juice concentrate. Very few here, and this used to all be concentrate right here. So I don't know. This, I don't know. I mean, I do see it at Kroger, but it always looks low at Kroger too. Let's to keep an eye on that. Got different old orchard ones. I know that's a popular one. Got the distilled white vinegar down here by Good and Gather. Three eighty nine, about the same price as it is everywhere. 374 at Walmart for theirs is about the cheap. Well, um, we'll have to check Aldi later on, see if theirs has gone up. But yeah, about close to four dollars. I think it's 3.99 regular price at Kroger, and they are selling these because this was full the last time I was here a few weeks ago. Good and gather pasta is always a good option if you ask me. 99 cents and it's very good quality. Very good quality. Somebody said this was 12 ounces. It's no. Still 16 ounces. And it was our it's been a few weeks, but I don't know. Maybe <laughs> we'll have to see. But no, it's it's been 16 ounces for the regular spaghetti here for as long as I can remember. They do have the two pounder here too. 32 ounces for a dollar eighty-nine. One thing to remember too, um, they do have organic here. It's a dollar ninety-nine. This is also 16 ounces. A lot of organic pastas will be about 12 ounces. This one is still 16. They have the whole wheat here. Whole wheat, 16 ounces, $1.59 for that. Of course, they got a lot of the different bands of rotini made from chickpeas up here. They got all kinds of different pastas up here. They're goodless? Goodless? Is it less good? I don't know. <laughs> Lucky penny pasta, I guess. Got the gluten free barilla. I always like checking out the different things that some stores carry that others don't. Uh, let's see, we've got egg noodles some yolk free extra wide yolk free ribbons dollar 19 for those yeah i mean that's not really a bad price 
99 cents a can still for the diced tomatoes by Good & Gather, which are just fine. If you ask me, it's really not too bad. $1.39 for Hunt's brand. $1.39 for the fire roasted too. That's kind of funny because usually fire roasted will be like 10, 20 cents more. Same price as the other ones here, $1.39. Been finding hunts on sale lately though, but as you can see, they don't carry much here at Target. We do have some of the different tomato sauce right here. Small can, 75 cents. Got some of the bigger cans of Good & Gather here. Dollar, dollar forty nine here for this big can of tomato sauce. That's not bad. And really, tomato paste right here looks like a bigger can than most. What is that? Is that four ounces? That's six ounces. That's a six ounce can. 95 cents. 55 cents for the little cans of tomato sauce right here. That's close to Aldi. Close to Aldi prices here. And uh, we have tried some of their different pasta sauces. Pretty good, it's pretty good. $1.69 a jar. They do have a uh, pretty good variety here. All kinds of different broth here. Good and gather chicken broth we've used, pretty good. This is $1.49 a box for a store brand. Eh. $2.69 for a lot of different Swanson here. Organic's going to be $3.99, though. That seems pretty high. Uh, some of the Pacific Foods. Oh, look at this. They've come down to $3.19. $3.19. They must have sold that $3.25 price at Meyer and said, we're going to do a little better than that. And they have. They also have some of the Pacific Foods organic soups up here. $4.39 for these. We've got a lot of good comments on these. I don't see the butternut squash everybody likes, though. So. Oh, here it is. Right here. Looks like Target is trying to compete with Kroger here in this same day delivery. Same day delivery in as little as an hour with the new Target or with the new Circle 360. There's the QR code. If you want to check that out there. Huh. All right. I mean, I figure all stores are going to be doing stuff like that here eventually. They don't want you to leave your house. They want you to shop online and they'll bring it to you. Oh, they're starting to get ramen noodles back in here. I haven't seen any ramen here at Target in a while. Uh, not the six packs anyway. $1.99 for those. 35 cents for the single packs. We can find those. Uh, most of those at Walmart are about 30 cents a pack. They've got the little cups here. 55 cents for those. And they have a couple other. What is this? If I've ever seen this one here. Fire hot ones. Oh, yeah, I've seen these. Ramen noodle bowl, fiery, hot, tonkotsu. Some of these Progresso soups here, regular price at Target, have come down to $2.19 a can. $2.19, same with Chunky Soup. Campbell's Chunky here. One of them here, I guess, Chill with Chili, $2.29 still. Good regular prices here. Yeah, that's that's not bad at all. And the hopes of those regular prices coming down is the hopes that we'll find better sales on them in the future. I will say the tuna creations did come down 10 cents as well. They were $1.49, now $1.39. But if you're at Target, do yourself a favor. Try the Good & Gather. They are just as good. I love this lemon pepper one here. Lemon pepper, got a few of those at home. 99 cents. 99 cents regular price. I have been finding sales on Annie's macaroni and cheese on sale pretty much everywhere. These are the more expensive ones. Uh, these are regularly like some of them $2.99. Looks like they're on sale for $2.79. Some of these here that are $1.59 are on sale for $1.39. So not a huge savings. The sale goes on through until Saturday, October 26. Oh uh, yes, it is that time of season, guys, for all the sweets, cold weather makes you want to bake makes you want to bake all this stuff honestly a lot of these prices are about the same as they are everywhere else i just saw this here and it reminded me jessica made brownies for her mom for her birthday like uh, a couple weeks ago and i saw this i called her on the phone i was like do we have any more of this and uh jessica is a really good baker but i'm gonna say this right now this was the best these were the best brownies i've ever had in my life now Jessica, like I said, she really knows how to bake. She is a great baker, great cook all around. But I'll tell you what, these were amazing. $2.59 here at Target. You might be able to find a little cheaper on sale somewhere, but these are amazing.
Oh, looks like some of the usual suspects here at Target here. The corn and cut green beans have come down in price. 55 cents a can now. 55 cents a can. I guess some things are coming down. That's good to see. Uh, the organic beans and stuff, still the same price, $1.29 a can. But for a store brand canned beans, $1.29 organic. That's not bad. Got a lot of good comments on these. Um... Still $1.59 for Del Monte. Hopefully as the holidays roll in, we'll find some better deals on those. Then you got canned Del Monte, about the same, or the fruits, canned Del Monte fruits, about the same price as everywhere else, $2.59 again. They also carry a lot of the different pearls, olives to go. I know we've got some fans of these on the channel. These little bad boys right here, it's basically a dollar a pack. $3.99 for a four pack, which I get it. You know, you want to take them to work or something, something that's sealed. Keep them in. Obviously, you're paying for the convenience. But I'll tell you what, they don't have as many olives as they usually do here. It's kind of weird. Usually it is completely stacked to like here. They've even moved some pickles over here. Or maybe that's where they were. Maybe they're moving stuff around. I don't really know. But uh haven't tried any of these good and gather ones here yet. Let me know if you have and if they're any good. Oh, yes, all the different marshmallows for the hot chocolate as the cold weather approaches. That is one thing I do like about the cooler weather in wintertime. As you guys know, we bought that big thing of Swiss Miss the other day at Sam's Club. Got the marshmallows. Good. Nice to sit around, hang out. Have some nice hot cocoa, hot chocolate. Whatever you prefer. Check out all the... I love all the different spices here at target yeah the prices are a little more but you do get a little more as well like here's some of this chili chili lime here that is 3.5 ounces for 219 that's not too bad at all really that's a lot i do always kind of compare targets organic spices to meyer uh you get right about the same size for right about the same prices Got some different let's see, pure almond extract here 4.99 for that pure lemon extract 4.69 here's the vanilla Got this one right here 7.39 that's the that's the good stuff right here of course i never tried a good and gather one here i'm sure it's pretty much the same just a dollar dollar cheaper and here is like more of their regular little jars of spices right here these are a dollar 19 Right, or this one right here, basil leaves, $1.19. Allspice, $1.99. It's always good to have $3.19 here for the whole bay leaves. $1.59 for some celery salt. Somebody was saying they couldn't find celery salt the other day. I don't know. I remember like a year and a year, year and a half. I don't know. There was an issue with this one coming in everywhere. It was like nobody could find it. Got celery seeds here. But yeah. Target or uh yeah, Target's got it here, $1.59. And of course, some of the other ones, some of the usual suspects here. We've got onion powder here. That's going to be cheaper. $1.19 for that. They got ground nutmeg here. $3.69. Minced onion here. That's a big jar. Uh, let's see. Is that two ounces? Yeah, that's two ounces. $1.19 for that. Got some oregano leaves. $1.19. They got the ground paprika. $1.19 for that. And here are some smoked paprika right here. $1.99 for that one. But yeah. Target has a great selection of spices. They also have the Good & Gather grinders here, which are really good grinders. I know some people talk about on the channel how they buy them here and there, and they're just not very good. Uh, these ones are good. They're about the same price as McCormick. I mean, some even more, but you might get a little bit more there. And then they've got the Good & Gather salt down here, 79 cents. They also carry Morton salt, but $1.79, I, I don't pay that price anymore. I get the, uh, I just get the store brand. They same to me. Usually Target will have some pretty good deals as we get closer to Thanksgiving. Might be a little early for this, um, but they got the 100% uh, Pure Pumpkin by Libby's here, $2.39. I've been seeing these for $2.99 in some places. That's ridiculous. $1.29 though for Good and & Gather, and I remember last year a lot of people were saying they were getting this one that it tasted just as good or better than Libby's. I know Toll House continues to go up in price. Uh, we've seen them for $5.49 for some of them, regular price. 
for like 10 ounces at Kroger, which is ridiculous. I wanted to point out the Good & Gather, which these are $2.99 regular price. $2.99. That's a pretty good deal, and it's very good quality chocolate. Very good quality. Now, Toll House down here, what's funny is, I don't know whether they lowered this price and put this sale on here, but this is kind of funny. So it says regular price $4.49, which would make sense, right? Because it keeps going up in price. They just can't keep up, I guess, or they didn't have a sticker to replace the regular price here. Because it should be $4.49. Same with this one over here. Because it says on sale for $3.99. But yeah, for this same size bag, regular price at Kroger is $5.49 regular price. Now, we have seen some sales on it, not at $3.99, so it's actually a decent deal. Should probably change those stickers, though. Good to see they got plenty of sugar coming in here, $3.29. Uh, I don't know, that's one of the highest around. We've seen them for right around $3. Surprisingly, Walmart, too, is at $3.14 for a four-pound bag making it the second highest that I've seen for store brand. But that is down from 339. The crystal sugar, I, can't, I, don't, I don't know what's up with that. The price has nearly doubled over the last couple months for whatever reason. And we got some of the different organic here. Organic coconut palm sugar, 439 for that. They got the powder, organic powdered sugar, 349. And then they've got the five pound bags of Good & Gather Organic. Probably one of the most commented items as we've done video shopping at Target, I know a lot of people on the channel like this one right here, and it's a good price. Organic, all-purpose flour, $5.89. I've heard it's great quality. Gluten-free flour blend here. I'm just going to check, make sure you're getting the right thing. That is, yeah, that's it. Gluten-free flour blend, $2.69. That's a good deal. $2.69. I got the bleached or blanched almond flour here. Uh, $6.39 for that for a one pound bag. We have gotten the Good and Gather flour before. It's just fine. Just fine. $2.49 for a five pound bag. This one down here says $2.59. So I don't know. This is one of them things where I'd take a picture, like, you know, hopefully they give it to you for $2.49. I guess it's gone up because $2.49 was the regular price. So I don't know. Looks like they've lowered the Crisco price to $4.79. Looks like the canola is $4.99. Vegetable oil is $4.79. Good to see. Canola of the... Now, these are... Remember, these are 40-ounce 40, uh, 40 containers. Store brands are usually 48 ounces still. I guess how they... I guess that what draws people toward it. Canola oil, $4.49. For the Good & Gather vegetable oil, $3.99. About the same regular price for that everywhere. And then they've got all these other different cooking oils. Extra virgin olive oil right here 11.89 we've got the california ranch extra virgin olive oil right here is 18.39 stuff's expensive they also sell the chosen 100 percent avocado oil now we have gotten a couple comments over the last few weeks some people have been having trouble finding this just showing this one right here target is another option i know i point this out every time i come here pretty much but it's really good salsa really good salsa for 2.99 it's, you know, a, a, an okay deal. A little pricey for a store brand, but it's great quality. Great quality. I got to say, I did tell you, I've told people this pineapple pineapple one here I have tried. Wasn't a big fan of that one. Um, but the restaurant style, it's fantastic. Let's see. This is 24 ounces for $4.19. And this is 16 ounces for $2.99. So, you're not... You're not really saving, you know, if you've never tried it before, you might as well just try the smaller one. I do believe I went over this last time, but they have lowered the prices of the two packs. Two packs of the minute rice here. $1.99 makes it a dollar, dollar a bowl there, and you can see which ones they sell the most of. Well, it looks like they have some of the instant oatmeal. It looks like these prices have come down as well. Some of the eight packs and 10 packs select varieties, $2.99. We saw these drop at Kroger too, from $3.69 to $3.19, okay? So good to see some regular prices dropping. Looks like they have the Kodiak oatmeal, $5.59 regular price for some of these, and then $5.29 on sale, good through October 26, 2024. And they got these little Kodiak oatmeal packs right here, normally $2.29 on the circle deal, $1.99. That goes on to uh, November 2nd. 
2024. So, so we got these right here. What is this? Got the better oats. Better oats, two for seven. Got to buy two. They will be three fifty a box when you do. Okay, so it does look like some regular prices are dropping here at Target. They got now, mind you, it's been a few weeks and months since I've been here, but still, it's good to see anything dropping price. Five forty nine for the forty two ounce canisters of Quaker Old Fashioned and Quick Oats, but Good and Gather has dropped in price as well. These are now three ninety nines. Really good quality here too. As a matter of fact, I, I, you know. If these were the same price, I'll be honest with you, I would probably pick Good & Gather. Good & Gather oats are really good. They got the quick oats here, $2.69 for the smaller one. Old fashioned for the smaller one. They also have really good steel cut oats. Steel cut oats. Some people like the ones at Aldi. I know they're a little over $3 at Aldi. $4.79 for these. It's really good quality though. Not saying that Aldi isn't. Uh, I've never tried Aldi steel cut oats. So not. Uh, they got the organic old fashioned oats right here too. 379 for those and here we go we got the quaker instant grits somebody was just asking about this one this is 359 for a 10 pack i just noticed as i was checking out those grits too that they got the bob's red mill uh quick cooking rolled oats right here gluten free 699 and they got the organic old-fashioned rolled oats right here 759 because these are starting to come back in so if you are one of our many viewers that have talked about uh, shortages on different granola I know we've had a few people say you haven't been able to find granola at least the ones you're looking for Target is another option and a pretty good option I mean they carry a lot of different granolas in here I haven't seen any issues with granola personally uh, maybe at some places like maybe Big Lots Ollie's didn't seem but you know those can be hit or miss anyway always seems like this is pretty well full here at Target so just pointing this out here for you one thing that Target does very well with their Good and Gather products are their peanuts here. I'll tell you what, these mixes that they have here are pretty awesome, and they're on sale right now until Saturday. Now, these ones that are $5.29, I know they used to be $4.99, but they've gone up two for nine, making them $4.50 a bag. And I'm getting my favorite here, Honey Roasted Cashews. Guys, these are amazing. I used to love the Imperial ones, but I think they quit making them these are even better these are fantastic you get uh 8.5 ounces a bag jessica loves these too so bonus two for nine dollars and again target carries a lot of these different dried fruits different dried fruits here different organic options which you know there's gonna be a little pricey but they also have some freeze-dried options as well freeze-dried raspberries here freeze-dried mango slices Kind of like a strawberry, apple, and peach fruit blend. It's good stuff, guys. They even sell bigger bags of them, too. And actually, it's a pretty decent price. Freeze-dried anything is going to be really expensive in a lot of places. So, yeah, it's nice having these options. I think we might as well check out a couple of these coffee sales here. They got Pete's here. The 22-count K-Cups. 22-count for the Keurig so this is $16.49 regular price. You do have to buy two to get this deal. But they'll be $14.99 each when you get two. And that goes on until Saturday, October 26th. That is a pretty good deal. Uh, and then they've got Duncan over here, which is also a pretty decent deal. 22 count. Now these are $17.99 regular price now. That is a crazy regular price. That is very high. But... $14.99 when you buy two on sale this week. That's a good deal. And when I say good deal, I just mean good deal of the times, guys. Of course, everything is a lot more expensive now than it was even maybe a few months ago. But, you know, we got to take the deals where we can find them, I guess. Stumptown here on sale for $12.99. $12.99, that's actually a decent price. This is expensive coffee right here. One of our buddies had sent me a bag of this a while back. I got to say, it was really good. Really good. Uh, and this goes on until November 2nd, 2024. They got some other options here, too, that I haven't seen. Homestead right here. Founders Coffee right here. Well, that was our trip to Target. I got to say, whether they've come down already or not, I've seen more price decreases here at Target. Some of the different canned goods, some other things. Good to see. Hopefully, they come down even more. I'm sure a lot of the holiday things, a lot of the 2,000 items that they're talking about are probably going to be like, holiday food, stuff like that. 
Uh, we'll be back, you know, as, as it goes along here. We'll give it a couple few weeks, maybe. Uh, maybe check out some of the different holiday options that they have. Maybe some different toys, things like that. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see some of those Christmas options here at Target. It was a good day. It was a good day. Thanks for joining me. Uh, it's good, you know, Target is a good other option. I remember a couple years ago when things weren't coming in, we had a lot of shortages. We were directing people to Target. I didn't go over the pet food, but pet food was one of them. When we couldn't find pet food at Walmart, we couldn't find it at Kroger. All the prices were going up. We were still finding it here at Target and for a decent price. Guys, thank you so much for watching. With all that being said, I'm out, and always remember the adventure is out.